Martin Kilmeade, Jimmy Fallon, and Guy Benson standing up for what's right live and via podcast. Just click listen, then swipe right and hear the latest news updates on your time. And scroll down to hear the latest podcasts from Fox News. And it's even easier to listen in the car with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Get programming alerts and notifications. Fox News Audio is on the Fox News app. The Voices America Trusts. Download it now. The White. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. The victim is lucky to be alive. I'm Ryan Hedrick. Here's what's trending at this hour. Two men are in jail and charged with shooting at someone who was driving along Interstate 65 this week. The victim was shot but survived. State police say it happened after a verbal altercation at a business and then continued onto the highway. This case is not related to the case where a 17-year-old girl was shot at after she honked at someone who cut her off on the highway. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office says Marcus Minor has been sentenced to nearly a century for murder and attempted murder. Police believe Minor shot two women on North Pasadena Street in January of 2021. I'm Sasha Nixon. They think Minor and Melissa Smith had been involved in an argument. And this argument led to the shooting, which killed Smith. Minor had previously been charged for the murder of Austin Smith, but he was found not guilty. Sasha Nixon, 93, WIBC Mobile News. Even at the age of 39, new Indianapolis Colts quarterback Joe Flacco doesn't want to be done with football yet. I'm not, I, I just don't, not really ready to kind of go figure out what else that may be that I love to do, especially when I'm going to be given an opportunity to still do what I love to do. On Friday, he said he's excited about working with Colts head coach Shane Steichen and quarterback Anthony Richardson. Purdue's basketball team is one win away from the Sweet 16. They play Utah on Sunday. I'm Ryan Hedrick on the level on the go in at WIBC.com. Now, here's your forecast from the American Heating Weather Center. Tonight, mostly clear, hard freeze possible in some areas, lows in the upper 20s. For Sunday, partly cloudy, slightly warmer, high temperatures in the mid-50s. The warming trend will continue into Monday. On Wish TV, Storm Track 8 meteorologist Ryan Morse for 93 WIBC. My brother never checks on dad, or my sister won't make time to take mom to the doctor. Are these things you've heard yourself say? This is Tina McIntosh, president of Joy's House and co-host of the Caregiver Crossing radio program. I have a caregiving tip for you. Stay tuned. At Cardon Senior Living Communities, you'll find our teams share a commitment to enhancing the lifestyle and well-being of the people we serve every day at every stage of life. Expressing anger or resentment toward unsupportive siblings can cause unmendable rifts in relationships. Don't try to control everyone else. You can only control yourself. The success of your caregiving journey does not rest on others. So enjoy the time with your loved one. This is your special time with them. More tips like this are available anytime at caregivercrossingradio.org. With new weekly content created by Joy's House and distributed in partnership with Network Indiana, we're an on-air and online support group for Hoosier family caregivers. Hear conversations with experts, access a library of online education, and more at caregivercrossingradio.org. To protect his family from disaster, Steve used his camera phone. Done. By taking pictures of his important documents, Steve can always have them stored online. Learn more simple disaster prep tips at ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the Second Amendment, and this is the Gun Guy. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang, bang. With Guy Ralford on 93 WIPC. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. I hope you've had a great day. hope you've been able to go out and and, uh, dent some primers. Otherwise, enjoy your constitutional rights here on a... A beautiful sunny, a little cold for late March, but but otherwise nice day. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm very excited about today's show. Starting at five o'clock, I'm never quite sure whether to say today or tonight, um, but I'm very excited about this show because coming up in the second segment, um, I'm going to have uh, what I think is going to be my favorite host all year. Or excuse me, my favorite guest all year, um, and that's uh, Shiloh Plu. Shiloh P- Plu, I'm saying. 
Um, and uh, when you hear who Shiloh is and what Shiloh has done, I think you're going to agree with me that it's it's an awful cool guest to have here on the Gun Guy Show. Um, and listen, I had a busy morning and day already. I was out at uh, Parabellum Firearms and Indoor Range starting at 9 o'clock. And we had my Essentials of Indiana Gun Law class out there in Avon, and it was a great group, man. We had a full room, and again, people are engaged, people are interested, people are asking good questions. And a lot of the questions, a lot of the issues um, that we addressed today that people wanted to get into, in addition to the uh, curriculum, what I usually throw out there, people wanted to talk about what's in the news. You know, we talked a lot about road rage. We've had several road rage shootings um, right here on 465 in Marion County, you know, for some reason people get angry with each other, and uh, all of a sudden the horns start going off, and all of a sudden the, the fingers start wagging, and people are screaming and yelling and brick checking and and trying to run each other off the road, and there are legal issues that arise out of that. And let me tell you, and we'll get more into this later in the show. Um, you pull a gun out, start waving a gun around, or God forbid, fire shots in a road rage situation, especially when you're contributing to the road rage. And I'm not saying that any of this happened in any of these particular circumstances. I think the investigations are open. In one situation, it was reported that a 17-year-old driver just honked her horn at someone who was, I don't know, coming over into her lane or, or cutting her off or something along those lines, and the person just started shooting. And listen, you, know, you use the, your horn in a more or, less, more or less polite way. Just say, hey, hey, yo, I've done this. I do this all the time. Beep, beep, hey, I'm here, man. This is my lane right now. <laughs> don't come over here. Um, I don't think that's anything to be ashamed of. That's one of the reasons you have a horn on your vehicle. At the same time, when people are each being aggressive, and again, I'm not attributing this behavior to anybody necessarily out there in these recent incidents, but when both people are being aggressive and you're both being involved in these road rage incidents, um, you're asking for a lot of trouble. You're asking for a lot of legal trouble. You're specifically asking to go to jail if you pull a gun out and start waving a gun around or, again, God forbid, start firing shots. And I'll get more into those legal issues and get um, some more of that discussion um, going here later in the show. And actually had a great conversation with uh, Sergeant John Perrine from Indiana State Police who called me and was asking me about some of the legal issues associated with uh, with these road rage situations, and we'll have a lot more to, to get into uh, later in the show. Um, in the meantime, um, I, also some of the other interesting legal issues that came up during the show today, we talked a lot about self-defense. We talked a lot about, about when you are and when you are not justified in using your gun in self-defense. And what a lot of people don't realize is you think about the law of self-defense and when you're justified in using your gun, well, that's not just pulling the trigger. For instance, there are a lot of people who get prosecuted for very serious crimes. I'm talking about felonies for crimes like intimidation with a deadly weapon that is threatening someone, communicating a threat, and in the process using or drawing a firearm. That's intimidation with a deadly weapon. That's a level five felony. That's a very serious crime. There are crimes like criminal recklessness. There's a crime called pointing a firearm. We don't have a crime in Indiana called brandishing. A lot of people, you know, on the Internet, they'll, they'll be talking about some video, whether it's a, a, a security video or otherwise, and they'll say, well, that looks like brandishing. That's, that's a crime. Well, we don't have that crime in Indiana. But like I said, we have intimidation with a deadly weapon, we, and we have pointing a firearm. For you to even point your gun at someone, you have to specifically be justified in doing so. And if you're not, it's a crime. It's a felony. And felony is a big deal. You've lost your gun rights. There's a federal statute that says you've lost your gun rights if you have any felony conviction. And so that's what was a lot of the discussion. That's what we got, got into uh, in, the, in the classes, as we always do. And a lot of people learned a lot of things. We talked a lot about how you lose your gun rights. You know, you can, you can not necessarily be convicted of a crime, but still lose your gun rights. For instance, if a domestic violence order of protection gets entered against you. And a lot of people don't understand that. So anyway, it was very interesting to get into all of that. One thing that we will also revisit later in the show is the NRA updated, reissued, whatever you want to call it, its ratings for different candidates in 
Indiana that are running for office. That includes the governor. That includes different congressional races. And one thing that I was not surprised about, but I took some satisfaction in, and actually made me laugh out loud, is the fact that we have Jefferson Shreve. And listen, I, I've talked about Jefferson Shreve often since he uh, announced his campaign for mayor this very last election right here in Indianapolis. And old Jefferson Shreve, who's got a lot of money, but apparently not a lot of sense, uh, declared uh, as a candidate for, for mayor, won the Republican uh, primary, so he got the Republican nomination. So he's our candidate. And after the Republican primary, he then announces that he agrees with Joe Hogsett on gun control. And he announced that he wanted to ban so-called assault rifles, that he wanted to roll back constitutional carry in Marion County, Indianapolis. And he wanted to raise the age to buy any firearm, including a rifle or a shotgun, to 21, even though at 18 today, you could legally buy a rifle or a shotgun under both federal law and, and, and Indiana law. You have to be 21 under federal law to buy a handgun. So Jefferson Shreve says the way to keep people safe in Marion County is gun control. So it's not to control the criminals. It's not to, to keep dangerous, violent criminals in jail. It's, it's to affect the law-abiding gun owner and prohibit you from going to the gun store to buy the kind of gun you want to buy to protect your home, to raise the age, to roll back constitutional carry, which only applies to law-abiding citizens. If you're a prohibited possessor, you can't carry a gun under permitless carry or constitutional carry. Didn't change anything for anyone who's a criminal. Didn't change anyone for anyone who's not a criminal and can otherwise carry a gun, except that we don't have to go ask the government for permission to exercise a constitutionally protected right. So after Jefferson Shreve, as a Republican, announced all those gun control plans, he he gets beat rather handily by Joe Hogsett, who's a god-awful mayor, and, and was clearly vulnerable to any kind of a decent candidate, notwithstanding the Democrat majority in Marion County. But Jefferson Shreve gets his butt kicked by Joe Hogsett and mere months later declares that he wants to run for the 6th Congressional District. And in doing so, he touts his support for the Second Amendment and says he's been attacked by liberals because of his, quote, A rating from the NRA. His A rating from the NRA came in when he ran for state Senate, also got his ass beat by Jack Sandlin, great senator, who we've just lost. We just uh, had Jack pass away, and I worked with Jack on a lot of different bills. And I was very, very glad when he won his primary and he maintained his seat. But when Jefferson Shreve ran for that state senate, he filled out an NRA form, a questionnaire, and he answered all the gun control questions correctly, all the Second Amendment questions correctly, when he was running for state senate. And on that basis, got an A rating. Then he ran for mayor. And the NRA had not updated its ratings. Now, in running for the 6th Congressional District, he comes out saying, well, I'm being attacked. I got attacked by liberals in Marion County because of my A rating from NRA. His A rating from NRA before he proposed gun control in Marion County. And so he's touting his support for the Second Amendment. He's touting how he's been attacked by liberals for supporting your gun rights. And right in the middle of his race, right now, what just happened, I believe, yesterday, the NRA updates its ratings for Indiana congressional candidates, including other candidates here in Indiana for governor and otherwise. And guess what old Jefferson Shreve got as his rating as a candidate in Indiana for the 6th Congressional District, his rating from the NRA? F. F. F is in Foxtrot. <laughs> so I want to hear... What his ads say now, he just got an F rating. Is he going to continue to run the ads and say he's he's he, he's your guy to support the Second Amendment? That he's your guy for gun rights? When he's got an F, you know what it takes for a Republican to get a Foxtrot rating from NRA? It takes something incredibly bad, incredibly ridiculous, and, and incredibly non-conservative like Jefferson Shreve did in the Marion County mayor's race. 
And there he is. So what the hell are his ads going to say now when you're a Republican with an F rating? By the way, word of the wise, uh, the first time I ever saw an F rating for a Republican that was already in Congress was Dick Luger. And, and, and Dick Luger was a distinguished senator for Indiana for a lot of years, and a lot of people really, truly loved Dick Luger. And he was a, a very respectable man, but he got some very, very bad advice and decided to actually support an assault weapon ban when that was being pushed in Congress. And he lost his support from NRA and actually got an F rating at the, at the time. The first time anyone in Congress had as an incumbent, had gotten an F rating as a Republican. And what happened in his very next race? As a 20-plus year incumbent, close to a 30-year incumbent, if I remember correctly, he lost his next primary to Richard Murdoch. And isn't that a shame? Because he got some very bad advice. And you would think a Republican right here in Marion County would have enough knowledge of history not to repeat exactly the mistake that a very beloved senator, Dick Luger, made. And lo and behold, Jefferson Shreve did exactly that. Well, appropriately, it earned him an F rating. And I really want to see what his ads or hear what his ads say now that he sure as hell can't say he's got an A rating from the NRA. He's got the exact opposite of that. I'll tell you what, I've gone way past the quarter hour. It's time to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to have Shiloh Plute. I don't know why I have a hard time saying that. Shiloh. And uh, Shiloh and her dad, Josh, are here, right here in the studio. And Shiloh, at 12 years old, is a member of the uh, USA rifle team and actually just won, at age 12, a national championship. And I couldn't be more excited to have Shiloh here and her dad, Josh, and uh, and we'll get into that. And I'm going to turn the YouTube camera around because she's got her, her, her long-distance rig here her firearm where they're shooting a thousand yards plus and uh, we're going to let you see what this thing looks like and you're going to hear from shiloh and her dad josh when we come back right now we're taking a break this is guy rolford on the gun guy show on 93 wibc kendall and casey everything is so expensive now it makes it very hard for young people who don't want to be freeloaders who want to be independent who want to have their own existence who want to do everything we say society should be wanting to do Mm -hmm. and especially in the past couple years how much rent has raised the cost for everything the energy bill is going to be higher food prices kendall and casey weekdays nine till noon on 93 wipc and wipc.com Guy Rolfer for the Indiana Gun Club. I'm telling you, I'm very excited to have Indiana Gun Club as a new sponsor of the Gun Guy Show. And I'm very excited to announce that out at Indiana Gun Club, this is in Fortville, out on 113th Street on the northeast side of Indy. Um, they've got their Smith & Wesson Dealer Days promotion coming up uh, here very soon on April 10th and 11th out at Indiana Gun Club. They're going to have the Smith & Wesson rep there. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., they're going to be showing off uh, new Smith & Wesson uh, products, answering any questions, and there's going to be great giveaways uh, with purchases and otherwise. They're going to uh, have a Will, Ga- Will Gun Wonderland rebate. How about that? Uh, that there, was, there was a $50 rebate on J-Frame and $75 rebate on K-Frame, revolvers, L-Frames, and N-Frames, other governor models, all their favorite Smith & Wesson firearms. is going to run through the end of April. It's going to be a great time to go out and check out the Smith & Wesson Dealer Days at an Indiana Gun Club. I'll tell you what, these are my friends. It's where I shoot sporting clays. Um, it's where I got into sporting clays here a few years ago. And uh, Gordon Gamilla, who runs uh, a lot of the operations out there, owner Phil Baker, these are good friends of mine. They're good people. They're great people to do business with. And I'm proud that they're a sponsor of the Gun Guy Show. Check all that out coming up April 10th and 11th to get it started. Smith & Wesson Dealer Days out at Indiana Gun Club. A house isn't a home without a little wear and tear, spilled milk, or muddy paws. But don't just clean it, quick shine it. Hey, Pat Sullivan here for Quick Shine Finishes and Cleaners with some Floor Care 101 tips. First, no matter the surface type, be sure to remove dust and debris. Avoid heavy chemicals or all-purpose liquids as they can damage the sealant layer 
or leave an oily residue. Now, to best clean and protect your floors at a modest price, don't just clean it, Quick Shine it. Quick Shine finishes and cleaners use ingredients that make it better for kids, pets, and the environment with an EPA Safer Choice certification. And Quick Shine has a full line of products to treat any surface, including their floor cleaner, floor finisher, and hardwood floor luster. I use it on my own floors. Made right here in central Indiana for over 60 years by Holloway House, a family-owned company. Quickshine Finishes and Cleaners is available at retailers everywhere. Business. It's not a 9 to 5 proposition. It's all day and into the night. It's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these businesses is a partner like Comcast Business helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup in the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide, all these businesses choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round-the-clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business. From Main Street to Wall Street, our people are powering the businesses that power it all. So when you're ready to unlock what's possible for your business, there's no one better to answer the call. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Restrictions apply. Call or visit ComcastBusiness.com to learn more. Hey, Mark Deedle is the only real estate expert I trust and recommend with the sale of my home. Maybe you're worried about settling for less money with a lowball instant offer, or maybe you want to get rid of your investment property, kind of like Greg in Franklin. Greg's tenant moved out of his investment property, and he was done with it, ready to sell. Heard about Mark Deedle on the radio. In 15 days on the market, Greg had a cash offer, and it was done. Selling with Mark Deedle was fast and profitable. What separates Mark Deedle from the competition is the guarantee. Mark Deedle guarantees your home sold at a mutually agreed-upon price and deadline, or he will buy it. You pick the move date, no long-term contracts, and you can cancel at any time. Reach out to Mark Deedle today, 317-755-4232, or go to markdeedle.com, Mark, D-I-E-T-E-L, markdeedle.com. Tell him Hammer and Nigel sent you. JMV here from SM's Home and Garden in Bargersville. Stop in and see the spring selection of pansies and houseplants this week. Miss M's has a selection of vegetable seeds in package or bulk, flower seeds, and seed starting supplies in stock now. Also, don't forget your lawn care. Do it yourself. Lawn programs in stock now at Miss M's. Easter decor in the garden shop, 50% off. Stop and see the Southside's grand new garden center. Miss M's Home and Garden on State Road 135, just south of Whiteland Road in Bargersville. Miss M's Home and Garden.com. Andy's leader in patio installation is now offering a new driveway package. Schedule a free estimate today at IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. That's IndieDecorativeConcrete.com. The Indianapolis Public Library. More than just books. Visit your local branch today. Second to none on the Second Amendment. This is The Gun Guy with Guy Relford on 93 WIPC. All right, so I am right here back in the studio. Welcome back to the Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. If you're watching on YouTube, I have turned the camera around where it really should be. Uh, we've got uh, Josh Plew and his daughter Shiloh, 12 years old, here in the studio. I'm very, very, very excited to have these folks here. And uh, Josh, let's, let's start with you. Uh, your daughter has gotten involved in the shooting sports, and she's not only involved in the shooting sports, at 12 years old, she's on the national rifle team. Explain this to me. How, how how did this happen? How did she get into it? And as a, as a proud dad, give us a little background here. Yeah, I mean, Shiloh's awesome. Um, she's been shooting, I think she was born with a rifle in her hand, <laughs> and uh, uh, at least since she was four years old. And Four uh, years old? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we uh, we have a, uh, we had a, a 22 custom made for the, for the little kids. Now, what does that mean? Because you've been in the shooting sports for a long time or so where, I, where'd this come from? I grew up uh, in a gun shop okay. uh, in Rossville, Indiana, tall, small town here, uh, yeah, sure. just east of Lafayette and uh, grew there. I, sh I shot competitive archery as a child Okay, and um, Shiloh, uh, you know, she, she's tried everything, but uh, I mean, she really just showed that she had, a, a great deal of talent shooting and we knew when she was you know very young when, and she was out shooting her brother 
uh, who'd also been shooting since he was probably four years old, that, that there was some talent there. And Okay, um, hold on. I got to interject a question for Shiloh. Which is better, a national championship or out shooting your brother? Out shooting my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I know that? I'm sorry. I interrupted you, Josh. So, no. okay, so very young age, and she's obviously very, very good at it. But where did it go? How, how, did, how did it get into the competitive sports yeah. and then the national rifle team? So, I mean, this, is, this was a fury, uh, and she'd probably tell the story better than I would. But so last year... Um, I finally, she, she, she was what I would call recoil averse and okay. that was somewhat my fault. I kind of rushed her into a hunting rifle a little earlier, so a little heavier calibers than, you know, someone her size necessarily is going to be comfortable with. Yeah. And, and I probably rushed her a little bit and gave her some, some, uh, some anxiety around recoil. And so we, we just kind of pumped the brakes after that. Uh, she went hunting her first time when she was seven rifle hunting. Oh, wow. That's uh, awesome. Killed her first year at, at eight. No, so, wow. Yeah. Uh, so she, uh, but, um, after we had kind of let that simmer for a few years, um, uh, she, I told her, you know, you, you're good enough to shoot competitively. You know, we need to just kind of get you into a, into what, you know, uh, discipline kind of fits you the best. And she, uh, she warmed up to the idea and I finally got her last spring about a year ago shooting a, a 204 Ruger uh, and a Remington bolt rifle that I had. And it took a lot of convincing <laughs> to get her to pull that trigger for the first time. Yeah. But uh, she immediately just started ringing steel out to four or 500 yards with a 204 Ruger. And I mean, wow. that's not really made to shoot distance with. And so we knew that there was some talent there. We uh, started looking into the games and uh, uh, at Camp Atterbury, they shoot F class, um, which is the discipline that she's shooting. And we did a little research there. Uh, we're lucky enough to find some folks that had a rifle already built and uh, got it for her. And uh, she, she, we acquired that in right around Labor Day, so late May. She shot her first competition. Well, this is just last year. Yeah, in 2023. Yeah, uh, she shot her first competition in May. Um, with a very small six millimeter that she was shooting only at 600 yards and only uh, 600 yards. Yeah. At, so when she was shooting there, but her second, uh, her second sh competition ever, this is, this is mid to late June. Um, she shot, uh, clean as, you know, a perfect yeah, score perfect on a Tarker. And, uh, she, so we went to a shoot in Missouri. She shot, uh, I think f there were five targets and she shot three or four perfect scores, uh, and came in seventh overall out of about 40 shooters Wow! Uh, of all ages and a high junior, high female at that event. And uh, we thought, like, wow, <laughs> she's really got, got some talent. She's here. really, really good at this. And uh, so we kept pushing along through the summer. She uh, threw a little bit of trickery. I got her uh, to shoot a, a seven millimeter, a 284 Winchester cartridge. Uh, is that the same thing? I should know this, but seven millimeter is a, 284. Uh, yes, it is. OK. Yeah. 284 Winchester is a, a kind of the gold standard for many years in the F class game. Okay. It's now kind of they're evolving into the PRC round cartridges and some other newer cartridges, the short fat guys. But um, <laughs> it's uh, it's been a so w when she did that, she she shot it for the first time and and she uh, her eyes got real big and she and I said, "Can you handle that?" And she goes, "Yeah." And I said, "If you can do that, we'll take you to nationals." And she's like, "We're doing it." And, All right. uh, so, uh, she, uh, so she had not shot at a thousand yards until, um, her first competition was in July. And, uh, so she did that competition, uh, and then she just has an incredible work ethic, put in a ton of work, dry firing and live firing, doing wind reading and everything. And, uh, culminated with a win at the national championships in Phoenix in, uh, November. Awesome. Well, listen, we're a little past bottom of the hour. We're going to take a break. Shiloh, we're going to come back. It's going to be all you. <laughs> and uh, I, want, I just want to talk about your experience and how you see it all uh, uh, from your perspective and, uh, and, and whether you're having fun uh, or whether it's a lot of work. And I'm, I have a feeling it's a lot of both. But uh, we'll have Shiloh, uh, the star of the show, when we come back. Right now we're taking a, a break at the bottom of the hour. It's Guy Rolford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WYBC. Hammer and Nigel. Biden constantly lies. He was doing a victory lap on prices. He said costs were down. Just because it's not at the record level that you were responsible for previously, you don't get to do a victory lap. It's still substantially higher 
than when your predecessor yeah. was in office. Yeah, and they're not coming back now. Hammer and Nigel, weekdays 3 till 7 on 93 WIPC and WIPC.com. Your new car, your new truck, your new electric vehicle is at Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield because they've got the deal that can't be beat. All of the new cars and trucks you're looking for and electric vehicles like the all-electric F-150 Lightning with seating up to five, intelligent backup power, and on-site power for all your tools and gear. This all-electric truck is built for it all. Andy Moore Ford also has the rebates for you, federal and state incentives. You could save more on your EV purchase up to $7,500 instantly on site and save more on all of their cars and trucks, their fleet vehicles, and their electric vehicles. Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield, including more to your door. You can just buy the car online and they will deliver it directly to you. Andy Moore Ford. Visit them on Main Street in Plainfield or online at andymoreford.com. That's Andy Moore, M-O-H-R. andymoreford.com. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and top users make $200 to $300 per month. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money download upside i'm saving the cash i earn from using upside to help pay for a vacation later this year download the free upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas use promo code steer 25 to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank you can cash out anytime right to your bank paypal or a gift card for amazon and other brands just download the free upside app and use promo code steer 25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank that's code steer 25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus I'm Jane Fergus. President Biden says the $1.2 trillion spending bill he signed today to fund the government was a good compromise. It provides resources to secure the border, plus expands access to child care, invests in cancer research, funds mental health and substance use care. Fox's Madeline Rivera. The bill, the bill funds the government until September. The death toll in Friday's terror attack at a concert hall in Russia, standing at 133. ISIS has claimed responsibility. The attack took place during Islam's holy month of Ramadan. Interviews with some of the alleged terrorists are on social media. One man said he was recruited on Telegram and did it for the money. That's Fox's Lucas Tomlinson. The White House says they warned Moscow about potential terror attacks. America's listening to Fox News. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. You expect your home to protect everything you love, but you don't expect the ways water is breaking down your foundation and damaging your home. Cracks in walls and uneven floors are just a few signs your foundation is compromised. But there's one way to get answers to all your concerns. A free home inspection from Indiana Foundation Service. We put water back in its place. Get your free inspection at indianafoundation.com. Hey, this is Spencer Thompson at Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. Stretch your tax dollars during our buy more, save more sale. 
The more you buy, the bigger the discounts, and it's all delivered for free within 75 miles of Columbus. Everything from Lazy Boy, Smith Brothers, Bassett, Sealy Mattresses, every lift chair, it's all included with the lowest price guaranteed. Sale ends Monday only at Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. The show about gun rights, gun safety, and responsible gun ownership. This is The Gun Guy with Guy Relford on 93 WIPC. And welcome back. I'm Guy Relford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WIPC. So Shiloh is here in the studio with her dad, Josh. And, uh, and Shiloh, listen, let, let's bring you much more into this discussion because you're the one people really want to hear from. <laughs> not me, not your dad. Um, but so when you first got into this, when you first started shooting a rifle, what were you thinking? Was it fun for you right off the bat? Yeah, I would say it was really fun. I really liked shooting and being involved with guns. Yeah? So right off the bat, it was fun for you right away? Yeah. So when the competitions, like a lot of people I know shoot a lot, but when they go and they're going to start competing against other people, I mean, you just won a national championship. So um, clearly <laughs> you're, you're uh, different than a lot of us, but a lot of us get what I call the yips where you go and you're going to compete and all of a sudden those little bit of nerves pop up. Uh, did that happen to you when you first started shooting or have you just always been calm and cool? Yes, it happened to me at first, but I started getting a little, like, more calm about it. Like, I started calming down and not getting as nervous. Really? Well, now tell me about your rifle. Anybody on YouTube can actually see this this rig we have here, and this is pretty exceptional. Uh, but what are we looking at here in terms of – because it's not just the rifle. There's also um, a, 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 an amazing – I just want to call it a brace – um, but you, I know you guys have a better word for it. But there's a there's a really a, an interesting device that uh, that helps you stabilize it and move it in very small increments to make sure that you're exactly where you want to be on target. But tell tell me what folks are looking at here if they're looking at it on YouTube. So this um, I handle it helps me get exactly on target, exactly how I want to, and I feel like it helps me be more accurate. Okay. All right. And, and, and where'd the rifle itself actually come from? Um, we got it made from Alex Wheeler. Okay. And this is a custom rifle builder? Yeah. yeah go ahead, Josh. Jump yeah, yeah. in anytime. So uh, Alex Wheeler uh, out of Florida helped us with our first barrel, and then Brian Nettesheim uh, from Infringed Rifles in Wisconsin uh, actually put this piece together for us. So. Okay. All right. And what's the optic we have on this? Got, you know, you guys go ahead. Whatever you want. Yeah, it's a it's a March eight uh, eight to eighty. Okay, all right. So now, when 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 you first had an opportunity to actually be on the U.S. rifle team, and you're wearing a pullover right now that says U.S. rifle team, and that's something that a lot of people their whole life would like to be able to wear. At twelve years old, you're, you're wearing that. How did that come about? How'd you be able to get on that team? So my dad was doing some stuff and. Basically, like, I was shooting so good that, like, one day my dad said, like, I was on. And it was, like, I was, like, three, two or three months in. I was, like, how did, I was, like, surprised because I got on so early. And people, like, get on in their first, like, five years. I just. Okay, how do you, how do you get on the U.S. rifle team? It's kind of a resume thing. Okay. Uh, uh, you know. You Based gotta, on results. Results, uh, abilities, and you know, the, the, with the kids, they have to bet on the come a little bit, sure, uh, because the world championships will be in 2026. But they pretty much have to establish the team now, okay. and then work towards that. So the coaches uh, have, you know, they kind of have to look at, you know, how you're performing, what you're kind of, what, what equipment you have, and what okay. you're going to be able to do. Okay. So tell me, Shiloh, about the national right or about the national championship. So um, where was it, and how, just tell me about the whole experience. So the co actual competition was in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. It, I was pretty excited to be there. Mm -hmm. but Were you nervous? I was a tiny bit nervous, but it's like my nerves calmed down in like the first day. It's like it's just shooting. So. Is that what you tell yourself? It's, it's just pulling the trigger, right? Yeah. It's just 
trying to figure out what to do. And you're not worrying about anybody or nothing. So you're just thinking about the rifle and the target, huh? Mm-hmm. So, so how many how many days did the whole thing go? Almost two weeks. Two weeks, and how much how much are you shooting? Is it uh, you're shooting every single day? Yeah. It's, it's, two of the days that we were there, it was like a like a fun thing. Uh huh. The rest of the days, so six days were one, three days were um, short rain. I mean mid-range and then three other days were long range so. when you say mid-range i'm still thinking a lot of us would think this was a long distance what what's mid-range is that five six seven hundred yards 600 <laughs> and then, See, a lot of us don't think of 600 yards as being mid-range that tells me the kind of accuracy you you folks are, are, are experiencing and, and demonstrating out there so 600 yards is mid-range but then you moved out to long ranges which is a thousand yeah Okay, and, and, and you did that for how long? For two weeks? Uh, we did that for almost two weeks, yeah. No, for We did that, so it's a three-day for each. So three days for mid-range and three days for long-range, and then there's these two other days for fun things. Oh, I get you. Yeah. So um, so they're, you're, they're, they're scoring you, I'm sure, on every shot, right, once you're in the actual competition. How, how many people were you competing against out there? Over 100. Over a hundred, and what age range are we talking about? Like ten-year-olds to like eighty-year-olds, probably. I don't know. To eighteen? Eighty. No, really. Okay. So when when your when your dad tells me that you have a national championship, so who 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 did you beat to win a national championship out at the nationals in Phoenix? Um. There's a. There was actually a lot of more, a lot more kids than I expected, but there was about, tw- I think almost twenty kids. No way, and really that many? Yeah, and I beat all of them. I was so surprised because <laughs> I was worried about this one person because he's a son of a really good shooter and i was like oh sure i was worrying about him like the whole competition i'm like is he shooting good and i was like oh what if he's doing better than me i was like <laughs> i'm a very competitive person so apparently I- that's awesome though that's why that's one of the reasons you're fabulous so all right so did, but you have a did you have a sense you were doing pretty well or do they post scores every day like i've yeah. shot in like I shot in the state championships and the sporting clays, and they're posting everybody's scores like between rounds, so you kind of know where you are day to day. Is where they doing that kind of thing? So in Arizona, they put it on the bulletin board because you go and get awards that exact day, but they also post it online too. Okay, so did you did you have a feeling pretty early on that you were competing for the championship? Yeah. Yeah, and there was there was one there was one boy that was actually. In, in your head a little bit, right? You want to make yeah. sure you could beat. All right, so when what was it like when you realized that you actually won the entire championship over all those other kids, that some of which are a lot older than you? What 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 went through your head when you realized you'd actually won the whole thing? I felt so good. I felt like I could beat anyone. <laughs> that is so awesome. I cannot even tell you how awesome that is. So, well, here's the thing. Um, and I've only done a little bit of long distance shooting. And my good friend Joe Bell from J- Bell Precision Rifles built me just a wonderful rifle in 300 Win Mag. And the the rifle itself far exceeds my abilities. And and he's taken me out and he's showing me the ropes. But when 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 I was out shooting long distance and we shot out to a thousand yards. And the highlight of my whole day, we shot all day was I ended up hitting five times in a row. I just rang steel. I mean, I'm not making tiny little groupings like like you were um i was just ringing steel but we ended up shooting a 12 inch target at a thousand yards and i hit that little sucker 12 to, or excuse me five times in a row and that was just that was the highlight of my whole shooting career right there and that was just somewhere within 12 inches at a thousand yards but joe was spotting me and he was calling out my windage and at one point i'm trying to figure out the winds and i'm looking at the and we were at um, young's long shot there's a, a a range up in northern indiana or kind of by fort, fort wayne and I'm looking down to a thousand yards, and every hundred yards there are there are flags, and I'm looking at those flags, and the flag at a hundred yards is blowing straight right, and and I look out 
another couple hundred yards, and that flag's blowing left, and the next one out there is going a different direction, and I'm going, the hell do I do with all of that? I had no idea how to figure, okay, that's the bullet's going to do this for 100 yards and do that for another 200. And, and you, you don't have a spotter, right? This is all you. You're figuring out windage and elevation based on your rifle. That Elevation's the easier part based on caliber and round and, 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 and having that all calibrated before you start. But windage changes every day. It changes minute to minute. And when you're behind the rifle, you're figuring all that out by yourself, you don't have a spotter. Your dad's not sitting there telling you how many mills uh, left or right. Uh, you're figuring that out on your own. How, how, how does that go for you? How do you how do you do so well at that? Um, so I, with all of that math, I'm I'm really good at math. So I keep it all in my head, but also it's just how like I practice by myself like every single day doing my own gun work really when you say gun work what do you mean by that so we practice almost every single day to like try to get me really good so i'm just cranking on my own stuff seeing what to do because i don't want any help because i really want to be good and just be good by my like yeah because that when the competition, it's all you, right? Yeah. In worlds, it's just going to be, they can't help you at all. They can't help you set up. So I'm like, I want to do all that so I can be ready as good and be as good as possible. And there really is math involved, right? I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's not just a bunch. <laughs> a bunch, you said. And you don't have a, a calculator right there, right? You don't have the, a lot of people, I see apps on your phone where you can input a bunch of stuff. This is all, you're just doing this in your head. Yeah, I People use books, but I don't like books. I just like to keep it in my head. I just like doing all the mental math and everything. I'm, so I'm in advanced math, so it's pretty easy for me to just keep it in my head and just know what to do. So do you think that is one of the reasons you won a national championship is because you're able to process all that so, so well in your head? Yeah, you know, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> that's kind of amazing. And as somebody who went to law school only because there's no math involved, um, <laughs> I, I, I could use your help a lot. And I'll tell you what, we're past the three-quarter hour. We need to take a break. But I got to tell you, um, I, I, you are my favorite guest I've had right here in the studio or, or on the phone or anywhere else, uh, maybe in the entire nine years I've been doing uh, the Gun Guy Show, Shiloh. I'm so proud of you. And uh, I'm so excited that you won this national championship. And well, I got to ask you one more question: Where do you want to take this? Do you want to, you know, win an Olympic gold medal? I mean, where, 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 what do you want to do with this at the end of the day? That's the last thing I'll ask you. I want to just do everything. I like if I can get an Olympic gold medal. That's basically all up to my dad. But I want to do it. So yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I uh, uh, I have a feeling that's going to happen sooner or than later. I'm getting kind of old, but I think I'm, I'm still going to be kicking uh, when I see Shiloh Plu win an a, a go Olympic gold medal. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I, I met you when you were 12 years old, and that's going to be an exciting time. So Shiloh, uh, her dad, Josh, thanks so much. It means so much for me to me that you guys came in, and uh, I'm way excited. But right now we're way late going into this. We'll come back for a really short last segment this hour of the gun guy show thanks so much again to shiloh and josh for being here this is guy relford on the gun guy show on 93 wybc hammer and nigel joe biden speaks gibberish joe biden has a hard time walking he can't find his way off of a stage don't give me this crap that joe biden's cognitively all there and way superior to donald trump in that category this stapler that we've got in the studio <laughs> is completely more qualified to be running this country right now than Joe Biden. Hammer and Nigel, weekdays 3 till 7 on 93 WIPC and WIPC.com. If you can plan barbecues and weddings, you can plan to protect yourself from a natural disaster. Sign up for local alerts, prepare an emergency kit, and make a family communications plan. Get started at ready.gov slash plan. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. This is the most exciting time of the year, and we want you to go all the way. 
Even if your team doesn't, march on Indiana in a Hubler quality pre-owned vehicle. Shop any of Hubler's 12 locations and choose from over 1,000 vehicles. Chevys, Fords, GMCs, Buicks, Nissans, Acuras, Mazdas, Hondas, and many more. All makes, all models, certified vehicles, luxury vehicles, even the hard-to-find ones. Every Hubler Q certified vehicle is covered by a 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, plus a 128-point vehicle inspection and a free Carfax history report. Hubler's got you covered for 100,000 miles. Busted brackets not included. So what drives Indiana? DriveHubler.com. For over 1,000 vehicles, visit any of our 12 locations. Hubler's got you covered. Warranty on select models less than nine years old. Now is the perfect time for you to call the Bath Authority to get your project you've been putting off done this spring. Because the Bath Authority has an unbelievable deal going on. Call today at 317-532-5711. 317-532-5711. Schedule your free in-home estimate and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath, plus 36 months of interest-free financing. That's right. All you got to do is call today at 317-532-5711. Schedule a free in-home estimate with the Bath Authority and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. Walk-in tubs, replacement showers, tub-to-shower conversions, and more. The Bath Authority does it all. 317-532-5711 for $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. TheBathAuthority.com. Tell them Rob sent you. Did you you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Retired or retiring soon? How much money do you need to live comfortably? Retirement Planners of America is here for you. Would you like to have financial peace of mind? Here's how. Step one, find out the amount of money you'll need to retire. Step two, have a plan to get there. Step three, make sure that plan can take advantage of market gains but protect you from market losses. Discover how to do all three with a free consultation at 800-508-6108. That's 800-508-6108. All investments involve risk, including losses. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Head online to the WIBC.com contest page and enter for your chance to see Celtic Thunder Odyssey Tour, Thursday, October 10th at Old National Center. Your rights, your responsibilities, your guns. This is The Gun Guy with Guy Relford on 93 WIBC. And welcome back. We've got a very short segment here. I a little over, but i got to tell you, if I'm going to go over with any guest ever, I'm glad that it was with Shiloh Plew. Um, what a fabulous young lady. And listen, I'm going to post a picture. She's 12 years old. She's 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 a, a smaller 12-year-old, and uh, but just as smart as she could possibly be, uh, totally calm on the radio. It's, it's not surprising to me that she's calm behind a rifle because she was totally composed and uh, calm on the radio. And it's really it's fascinating to me. And because, again, when I, I got just a little bit, I mean, tiny little bit of experience in long-distance shooting or precision rifle. And, and and the main reason is because a good friend of mine, as I mentioned, Joe Bell, built me a, just a, a fabulous rifle that's capable of much more than I am at this point. Um, but it's a little intimidating, and it's exactly because of what Shiloh brought up. It's, it's, the, it's the mental aspect of it. And listen, I, I have enough ego to say that I'm not particularly dumb, but math is not my strong suit, <laughs> and it's a little intimidating when you're calculating uh, all the, uh, that goes, everything that goes into precision shooting, um, and the fact that this 12-year-old young lady, uh, who by her own admission is very, very good at math, uh, is sitting there doing it all in her head and making the adjustments necessary, and then uh, went forward and won a national championship. I'm I, I couldn't be more excited for her. Um, just heard that she's going to be in Europe. And as Josh was leaving, he said, hey, uh, two years from now, 
uh, I think it's May of, of 2026, uh, she's going to be in Europe competing in, uh, in, in more uh, worldwide competitions. So keep an eye on Shiloh Plu. Right now, we're coming up at the end of the first hour. Time to take a break. This is Guy Relford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. Back in my day, we would camp in the backyard and tell scary stories. Except we weren't the greatest storytellers. Zero attention building. But with the Xfinity 10G network, we'll get insanely fast internet in the house and outside. So we can stream scary stories all the way out here. Ooh, this one's called The Wedding Nightmare. Fire it up. It was then that Jessica realized the airline had lost her gown. The next generation Xfinity 10G network. The future starts now. Save more this season when you get Xfinity Internet and mobile. Or now through June 21st, get 150 megabit internet for just $20 a month for 12 months with no annual contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Hi, this is Denny Smith, and most people just don't believe how much dust, dander, and bacteria are living and breeding in their carpets. Same thing with their ductwork, but it's absolutely true because the carpets really are the largest air filter in the home, and the ductwork circulates everything throughout the house. It's spring, and it's a great time to clean things up. Zero Res will clean three rooms of carpets starting at $129, plus a free hallway and $75 off air duct cleaning, too. Now, that's a great spring deal from Zero Res. And the whole family will see how your carpets and floors are clean and fresh thanks to Zero Res. The Zero Res service is easy to line up, and you can go online at ZeroResIndy.com to do the scheduling at your convenience. And don't forget the ZR water difference. No soap, no residue, no harsh chemicals, leaving things really clean. Now mention WIBC and get three rooms of carpet cleaned starting at $129 plus a free hallway, and you'll get $75 off air duct cleaning too. Call 317-388-5141 or book things online at ZeroResIndy.com. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and top users make $200 to $300 per month. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code STEER25 to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code STEER25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code STEER25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Broadcasting from the Technology Recycler Studios, this is Indy's Mobile News, 93 WIBC, WIBC HD1 Indianapolis. The news starts now. Death toll in Russia rising. I'm Jane Fergus, Fox News. The number of people killed in the terror attack at a concert in Moscow has risen to 133. The number of injured, over 100. The head of Russia's Federal Security Service told Russian President Vladimir Putin Putin that 11 people have been detained for the attack, four of them believed to be directly involved. Witnesses say a group of assailants burst into a large concert hall in Moscow yesterday and began firing into the crowd. The attack left the concert hall in flames with a collapsing roof. The terror group ISIS has claimed responsibility. A U.S. official telling Fox News that the U.S. intelligence community believes the ISIS affiliate in Afghanistan Afghanistan is responsible for the attack. Well wishes are pouring in for Princess of Wales Kate Middleton. The announcement after the announcement of her cancer diagnosis on Friday. Middleton says she is well and is undergoing preventative chemotherapy. Fox's Stephanie Bennett has the latest from outside Buckingham Palace. King Charles says that he is so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did and has remained in the closest contact with his beloved daughter-in-law throughout the past few weeks. Now Meghan and Harry also sending their regards saying quote we wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. Now the Princess of Wales says that she is looking forward 
forward to getting back to work as soon as she is able to and as soon as she is cleared. But for now, she does want to remain private and spend time healing and with her family. President Biden signing a $1.2 trillion spending package today after the Senate approved it in an early morning vote. It will keep federal agencies funded through September. America's listening to Fox News. I'm Emily Campagno, host of the Fox True Crime podcast. Keith Raniere promised people a life of fulfillment and success with his group Nexium, but beneath the surface operated a sinister and depraved sex cult. India Oxenberg was trapped and exploited by Keith Raniere and Nexium for seven years. In 2018, she broke free. This week, India joins me to share her story of survival and her journey of healing. Available now on Apple, Spotify, and foxnewspodcast.com. I'm Dana Perino, co-host of The Five and co-anchor of America's Newsroom. Join me for my brand new podcast, Perino on Politics. Every Monday, I'm going to talk to people I trust in politics. Whether you like it or not, a presidential rematch is underway. This week, substacker and founder of Melman Consulting, Bruce Melman, joins me with his analysis of this very familiar election. Available now on Apple, Spotify, and foxnewspodcast.com. The White House is trying to... 93 WIBC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. A car over an embankment. I'm Ryan Hedrick, and here's what's trending this hour. Someone drove a car over an embankment on Saturday morning. It happened on Indy's near southeast side at about 3.30. The driver is hurt, but they'll survive, and the cops are looking into what caused this. A semi-truck from California was busted for packing a lot of drugs. Donnie Burgess reports on the stop in Putnam County. The truck was heading to Indianapolis from Los Angeles, but was quickly stopped on I-70 in Putnam County Tuesday for a routine check. The Indiana State Police trooper on scene got suspicious of the driver, got permission to check the trailer, and there it was. 70 pounds of cocaine, 45 pounds of weed, and about 48 grand in cash. The drugs were worth about $1 million. The driver was arrested and charged with dealing narcotics. Donnie Burgess, 93 WIBC Mobile News. Indiana Republican Congressman Rudy Yockum had this question for President Biden's Director of Office Management and Budget, Shalonda Young. Uh, Director Young, is the southern border secure? Uh, we absolutely need more resources and authorities. Yockum then proceeded to tell her that the Biden administration could do a much better job fixing problems at the southern border if it really wanted to. Purdue dominated Grambling on Friday. Now they play Utah Sunday for a chance to go to the Sweet 16. It was just good for us to kind of get kind of the jitters out, some little bit of experience of playing. Purdue head coach Matt Painter. I'm Ryan Hedrick on the level on the go and at WIBC.com. Now, here's your forecast from the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Tonight, mostly clear. Hard freeze possible in some areas. Lows in the upper 20s. For Sunday, partly cloudy, slightly warmer. High temperatures in the mid-50s. The warming trend will continue into Monday. On Wish TV, Storm Track 8 meteorologist Ryan Morse for 93 WIBC. Having health insurance is important. So, if you or anyone in your family has Medicaid or CHIP, listen up. Check your mail for a renewal form from your state. Complete the form and mail it back right away so you don't lose your coverage. If you do lose Medicaid or CHIP, visit healthcare.gov to see if you're eligible to enroll in a low-cost, quality health plan. Keep your family covered. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Tony Katz here for Premier Arms in Brownsburg. This is your Premier Gun Store. Premier Arms has the experience and know-how to help the new gun buyer and the most experienced marksman. They've been in business for over 20 years and have a friendly, knowledgeable staff that wants to help you, not talk down to you. Premier Arms in Brownsburg is family-friendly, so bring the kids. All ages are welcome. Everyone can find what they're looking for at Premier Arms in Brownsburg, 3754 South Green Street, online at premierarms.com. Tell them Tony Katz sent you, premierarms.com. Emma and Nigel here inviting you to join us as we kick off the weekend every Friday around 545 with Beer Sample Friday. Brought to you by our friends at Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. Indy Humane. Find your new best friend today. Visit IndyHumane.org. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the Second Amendment. 
And this is the Gun Guy. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang, bang. With Guy Ralford on 93 WIBC. And welcome back to the Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. We're glad you're with us. Now, I'm still a bit giddy over <laughs> having Shiloh Plue here in the uh, in the studio. That was just so much fun. Um, my awesome producer, Jack, is going to break out uh, Shiloh and her dad's segment um, from the rest of the show tonight, and we'll post that as a separate podcast. If you missed that, you want to go back and listen to it again. Uh Really great information uh, and from a, a fantastic young lady and a, and a, and a great dad. Um, I encourage you to go back and listen to that as well. And uh, and it was fun to have her on the, the YouTube uh, live uh, feed as well. Um, let's, let's move on. And I want to revisit an issue. And I touched on this last show. And then I talked about it again on uh, Hammer and Nigel. You know, I do Monday Gun Day every uh, Monday at 3.35, and then they usually replay that uh, in the last hour, about 6.15. Um, so if you hear that, I, I, I have a lot of people comment. I'll see people out in public and whatnot, and a lot of people comment that they hear me on Hammer and Nigel, and obviously they have a great following, uh, number one rated afternoon drive time show uh, in Indy, and, and just won an award for... Uh, uh, for uh, mid-sized markets, uh, for cities the size of Indy and, you know, Kansas City and Philadelphia and any number of, of, of cities the size of this one, which are a whole hell of a lot of, uh, they were the number one afternoon drive time show uh, in the country uh, as, uh, as voted on by a lot of different radio critics, and that's pretty special. But anyway, I mentioned the same issue there, and what's really interesting is how much attention this issue is getting and a lot of, of the dialogue and – What's interesting is even among people who clearly support Second Amendment rights, or generally do, a lot of people are really upset about one particular federal judge in, o in Illinois making a particular ruling that has to do with someone who's in the country illegally. And there's a lot of misunderstanding about this, uh, but even I think once people do understand it, um, there's there's some outrage about this, and I and I think this is really interesting, and I think it would will really test. And and I made this point just very briefly on Hammer and Nigel last Monday, but um, I think it'll really test how you feel about the Second Amendment, and in particular, it will test where you believe natural rights, including constitutionally protected rights, come from. In, in particular, do they come from the government, or they or do they come from somewhere else. That is what your your inherent natural rights are. And, you know, the founders talked a lot about natural rights, talked about the laws of nature and nature's God. And the Declaration of Independence talks about being uh, endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights. A lot, by the way, a lot of people say inalienable, which may be the more popular grammatical term, but that's not what's in the Declaration of Independence. The earlier drafts used inalienable, and they and finally they used unalienable. I think they mean the same thing, is they can't be taken away from you. But the rights don't come from the government. Ah, that's a basic point. But this ruling in, in the Northern, Northern District, I believe, of Illinois, had to do with a, a woman who was in the country illegally. So she did not comply with the immigration laws. And I don't know whether she, you know, crossed the Rio Grande or, or I, I don't know what the circumstances were, but she did not go through immigration. And so she was an illegal, an illegal alien. And, 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 I, and that's a term that I have no trouble using. People say, oh, they're undocumented, and undocumented immigrants. No, they're illegal. Um, and if, if, because they came to the country illegally and, and they broke the law. And, and I've been one who's been saying for a long time, as many conservatives have, that, yeah, we need to finish the border wall. And, yeah, we need to toughen up immigration enforcement. That is enforcement of existing immigration laws. And, you know, Biden and the idiot Democrats in Washington keep saying, well, we've got to, got to have a new bill. We need a new law. We need, we're not empowered by Congress 
to do what we need to do to to uh, strengthen the border and and to cut down on illegal immigration, which is complete horse crap. It is just it's complete nonsense. Trump did it. Trump dropped the level of of illegal aliens coming into this country dramatically, and it turned right around and dramatically increased when Biden came into office because they have a specific declared policy of not enforcing existing law. Existing law says you come into the country illegally, we can toss your ass back out. We can prevent you from coming into the country in the first place. That's what border the border control people are 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 are, are tasked to do. Unless they're working under the Biden administration, which they're specifically told not to. They're told to stand down. They're told to stand by and watch as tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and at the end of the day, millions of people are illegally coming into this country. And none of that's okay. And what I have to say about Second Amendment rights has no bearing on how I feel about immigration enforcement, immigration policy, and the need for immigration reform, and specifically the need to enforce existing immigration laws. So why am I talking about immigration on the gun guy show? Well, it's because of this case. Because in this particular situation, we had a woman who came into the country illegally but had had committed simply a, a misdemeanor-level offense for not going through immigration, not having a visa, and thereby being in the country illegally. She was then found with a gun. And her attorney, wisely, moved to have the charges dismissed because what the charges were, now people heard this was in Illinois, and people go went all crazy and said, well, hell, I can't carry a gun in Illinois. The headlines out there were, illegal immigrants can carry guns in Illinois, according to this judge. People were saying, hold on, an illegal immigrant can carry a gun in Illinois. I can't carry a gun in Illinois because they don't recognize my Indiana license, and they don't have constitutional carry. So I can't carry a gun in Chicago. I go to prison, but an illegal alien can carry a gun? And people believe that's what this ruling says. That's not what it said. What they were dealing with specifically was the federal law. They weren't dealing with Illinois law or Chicago law at all. She was being prosecuted under a federal law that said if you're not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident, it's a law I talked about in my Essentials of Indiana Gun Law class today out at Nabon at Parabellum. If you're not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident, it's illegal for you to possess a firearm. That's the law she was being prosecuted under. She wasn't being prosecuted under Illinois state law, which I would be prosecuted for, you would be prosecuted for, and she could be prosecuted for still for carrying a gun. It was the federal law that says if you're not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident, meaning you have a green card, you can be prosecuted for possessing a firearm. And her lawyer filed a motion to dismiss and said, hold on, hold on. this is only a misdemeanor level offense. And was nonviolent. This person has no other criminal history and not committed any other crimes other than coming into the country illegally. And you can be sitting there listening right now saying, well, that's a pretty damn serious crime. Well, it's only a misdemeanor level offense based on how she did it, which is simply coming in without a visa. And she's subject to being deported. And a lot of people would say, and as I say, if you're in the country illegally, you ought to be deported. But that's not what we're talking about. The question is, should you lose Second Amendment rights? Well, one question is, should you lose Second Amendment rights because you're in the country illegally? Other people say, hold on, if you're not a citizen, and after I mentioned this on the show last week, and I mentioned it on Hammer Nigel, I got all these texts and, and messages on social media. It, 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 no, it's the right of the people, and the people refer to U.S. citizens, and if you're not a citizen, you have no rights under the Constitution. You have no rights under the Second Amendment. I, got, I bet I got 50 messages lecturing me, telling me, that you don't have rights under the Constitution if you're not a U.S. citizen. We're going to take a break while I'm going to come back, and I'll tell you the, 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 the fallacy. I'll tell you the defect in that argument in terms of if you're not a U.S. citizen, you don't have rights under the, con under the Constitution. And I understand why people feel that way. And it's because people are upset about immigration, illegal immigration. And they want it to stop, and, and they have a hard time believing that illegal immigration Aliens in this country should have any rights at all. And I'm not an advocate for illegal aliens. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about taking a purist view of constitutional rights and where natural rights come from and the role of the Constitution in that process. And if you say someone who's not a U.S. citizen has no rights under the Constitution, 
Well, then we need to explore that a little bit more, and I'll talk about that when we come back here on The Gun Guy Show. And I know I'm ticking a lot of people off right now, which may be the reason I'm doing it. I think it makes for good radio. But it's also something I actually believe in, and we'll talk about more on that when we come back. Join the discussion, 317-239-9393. And give us a call. If you're listening to this discussion, you got something to say, you want to call me an idiot for saying... (laughs) <laughs> that I, I that I, I don't know I wouldn't I don't know that I advocate this position but I don't have a big problem with this judge's ruling for the reasons I'll go into more but give us a call join the discussion 317-239-9393 that's 317-239-9393 this is Guy Relford on the Gun Guy show on 93 WIBC Kendall and Casey everything is so expensive now it makes it very hard for young people who don't want to be freeloaders who want to be independent who want to have their own existence who want to do everything we say society should be wanting to do. Mm -hmm. And especially in the past couple years, how much rent has raised. The cost for everything. The energy bill is going to be higher. Food prices. Kendall and Casey, weekdays 9 till noon on 93 WIPC and WIPC.com. Spring is here and you want to be enjoying your life, enjoying the outdoors. It is impossible to do if you're in constant pain. Pain in your hips, your back, your shoulder, those joints, whether it's arthritis pain, sports injury, an injury on the job, talk to QC Kinetics and you don't have to live with the pain. QC Kinetics here in Indy and it's the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. We're talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs and no downtime. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life changing treatment is available for you walk run climb the stairs play golf move again with no pain no risky surgery it's an all natural solution qc kinetics is in eagle creek in greenwood and in carmel call today 317-559-PAIN 317-559-PAIN talk to qc kinetics they even have saturday appointments available qc kinetics find the location closest to you eagle creek greenwood and carmel 317-559-PAIN Guy Relford for the law offices of Guy Relford. You know, one of the things that I talked about in my uh, Essentials of Indiana Gun Law class today that uh, that I really enjoy doing are expungements. What's an expungement? An expungement is for certain crimes, including certain felonies, you, ha- you can actually have your criminal record sealed, meaning it's no longer available to the public, and even for higher-level felonies, um, you can have your rights restored, including your right to possess a firearm. Um, not all felonies are, 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 are subject to being expunged. Uh, but many, many are, and uh, I've restored the rights for an awful lot of people um, uh, over the years, and it's something I really enjoy doing because there are strict requirements for being eligible for expungement. For instance, for a felony, you have to have eight years with a clean criminal history. But if you are eligible and can get that expunged off your record, you can actually restore your gun rights. So if that applies to you um, or anybody that you know, have them uh, contact us at the law office. Uh, you can go to relfordlaw.com. That's relfordlaw.com. And, uh, and we'll see whether we can do some good for you. Uh, we'd love to help you out. Uh, again, that's relfordlaw.com, whether it's for an expungement or other restoration of your Second Amendment rights. Mortgage rates have lowered going into the spring selling season. Now is the time to maximize your equity. Mark Deedle has the plan and experience to sell your home fast and for maximum value this spring. Maybe you're worried about costly repairs or upgrades to sell your home. Mark Deedle guarantees your home sold at a mutually agreed upon price and deadline or he will buy it. Listen to what Greg and Franklin had to say about working with Mark Deedle. My tenant moved out of my investment property and I was done and ready to sell. I heard about Mark on the radio and everything they say is true. In 15 days on the market, I had a cash offer I wanted on the property and it was done. Selling with Mark Deedle was fast, easy and profitable. Call the agent I trust and recommend and the agent who guarantees your home sold or he'll buy it. Call Mark Deedle, 317-755-4232 for all the details. Or go online to markdeedle.com. That's Mark, D-I-E-T-E-L.com. Denny Smith here for Sundown Gardens in Westfield. The garden shop is full of great spring decor, lawn care products, house plants, and more. Stop in and see their spring selection of pansies. This Saturday, March 23rd, is the spring kickoff at Sundown Gardens. The pansies will be on sale. The Easter decor is 50% off this weekend, all at Sundown Gardens Spring Kickoff in Westfield. Sundown Gardens is your gardening go-to for spring and summer at 186th Street and Spring Mill Road in Westfield. Sundowngardens.com. 
Business owners and IT professionals, what is your goal today? Protecting your data, hardware removal and recycling, or ethical landfill-free recycling? Technology Recyclers is R2, Rios, and Nade certified. 100% landfill-free? We come to your business, provide a free pickup anywhere in Indiana, pick up your e-waste, and ensure 100% data destruction. One call. Easy, safe, ethical recycling and data destruction. Visit Technology Recyclers at tech-recyclers.com or call 1-800-237-3887. Are you prepared for an emergency or disaster? Because it's not a matter of if, but when. Don't find yourself saying, <laughs> When the storm rolls in, my time to find a pet-friendly evacuation center will have run out. The scorching heat wave will leave me powerless to cool my insulin. I'll face a hurricane without meds. Now that's a tough pill to swallow. Let's prepare so we all have a better story to tell. Get started at ready.gov slash older adults. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Indy's leader in patio installation is now offering a new driveway package. Schedule a free estimate today at IndyDecorativeConcrete.com. That's IndyDecorativeConcrete.com. Through their service, veterans have our backs. Now we should have theirs. Learn more at GotYour6.org. Your rights, your responsibilities, your guns. This is The Gun Guy with Guy Relford on 93 WIPC. And welcome back. I'm Guy Relford on the Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. And I'm revisiting a topic that I didn't go into in quite as much detail last week. Touched on a little bit on a brief Hammer and Nigel segment. But this idea that the federal law, and again, I want to repeat, you know, that the headlines you're seeing, which are designed to get clicks and decide and designed to, to inflame passions, says judge rules illegal immigrants can carry guns in Illinois. Well, that's not exactly right. What the judge ruled is that the federal law that says only U.S. citizens or permanent residents is unconstitutional as applied to someone who only has a misdemeanor level, not even conviction, just committed a misdemeanor level crime by coming into the country without the proper visa. So there's no question it's an illegal alien. I'm not, I'm not apologizing for the illegal entry into the country. But the reason, I, and, I, and I said this will test how you feel about natural rights, and it will affect how you feel about where constitutional rights originally come from. Because I've been saying for decades, the Constitution does not give me any rights. And in fact, the, the, in the Constitutional Convention, there were two groups. There were the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. And the Federalists, and these are people... Um, that are the, the many of the founders who who wrote the Constitution and the founding fathers of this country were, were saying things like, we don't need a Bill of Rights. We don't need this calling out what powers the government doesn't have because we're being very specific on what rights we're giving the federal government. And if we don't give them specific rights, then they don't have those rights. If we're not giving the government certain powers is a better word to use. If we're not giving the, the government certain power, certain authority, then it doesn't have that power and that authority. So, for instance, there's no reason to come out and say Congress shall create no law infringing the, uh, the, the right to uh, free religion and, and, or the, make it any law regarding the establishment of any religion or the free exercise thereof or freedom of the press or the right to peaceably assemble, or the right to petition the government for a redress of, of your complaints. And I'm paraphrasing the First Amendment. But, but there's no reason to call that out to say Congress shall, make no, shall pass no law that infringes First Amendment rights, because if we don't give them the authority to pass a law that infringes on those rights, then they don't have the authority. So it's redundant to have a Bill of Rights, and that's what the Federalists believe. The Anti-Federalists at the Constitutional Convention were the cynics. They were the people who specifically said, we don't trust human nature. We don't trust government. You know, absolute or power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. We, we give people in government power. They're going to abuse that power. And so it may be redundant that you're not giving the government certain powers, and therefore they don't have those powers. But we want a, a Bill of Rights to call out the protection of certain of the most important fundamental human rights to prevent the government from infringing on those rights. Because they had just come out of this experience where they had to fight 
the, the, the greatest military in the world from Britain, from England, because that government tried to, for instance, take their arms away. And, 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 and there, there were much discussion in British law about the natural right of, 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 to, to arm oneself as a law-abiding citizen. That didn't, that didn't prevent the king at the time from sending out orders telling the troops to disarm the colonists. And in fact, the shot heard around the world right at Lexington and Concord on Lexington Green that touched off the Revolutionary War, was touched off because the troops, the regulars, the Redcoats were out to seize arms from the colonists. And they got the word out, and the Minutemen mustered together on Lexington Green, and as the British troops assembled and, 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 and were marching past on their way into Lexington and Concord, to, they were there to seize weapons from the colonists. That's what started the Revolutionary War. So that's the experience of the founders. And so what did they say? They said, no more. We're going to not we're going to prevent the government specifically from infringing on those rights. They'd had all the First Amendment rights stripped from them. They, no more. The, 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 the a problem with searches and seizures where British troops were kicking in doors, no warrants. No probable cause, just kicking in doors. No more. They created the Fourth Amendment for that reason. So they created the Bill of Rights not because they were creating any rights. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights don't give you any rights. They were, in the, in the, in the words of the newest Supreme Court Justice, Katanji Brown Jackson, I believe it is, she, was, she, she just, in an oral argument, was talking about how she worries that freedom of the press and freedom of speech hamstrings the government from doing what it needs to do to protect the people. And a lot of us heard her talking about hamstringing the government. We said, that's what the Bill of Rights was written for, was to hamstring the government. So you bastards in the government couldn't take our rights away that are natural rights that I, I get from God. That's the background on this topic, folks. So, a person who came into this country illegally, an illegal alien, I have no problem saying that. Does that person, a lot of people want to say they have no rights under the U.S. Constitution. But that argument assumes the Constitution gives you rights. If my rights come from God, why doesn't that person who, yes, came into the U.S. with no visa, are we saying God gave me the natural right to defend myself, therefore the right to bear arms, but God didn't give the same right to the person who decided to cross the Rio Grande without a visa? Because God favors us here in the U.S. as natural citizens? or and, and does God not favor someone until they get naturalized as a citizen and suddenly they are bestowed with the favor of God in terms of the natural rights that are endowed on us simply by virtue of being human. And there are a lot of cultures, a lot of religions who have said, well, God blesses us a lot more than those other people. And let me just tell you my personal view. <laughs> this is somebody who grew up in the church. My dad retired at age 88 as a Methodist minister. I think in the history of culture, in the history of religions, anytime any culture or religion has said God favors us more than those other people, I think in the history of the world, they've always been wrong. <laughs> I think God favors the righteous. I don't think God thinks that his favor ends at national boundaries. I don't believe that for a second. And keep in mind, the founders who wrote the Second Amendment, wrote the Constitution, wrote the entire Bill of Rights, were mostly English immigrants who were in open rebellion and fought a war against their own government at the time, which was the British government. You think you have to be in good favor with your government in order to have natural rights? I doubt the founders would say so because they just went through an open rebellion against their government. So if, not, if, if rights come from God and do not come from the Constitution, if the Constitution simply hamstrings, yes, Justice Jackson, hamstrings the government, which is the purpose of the, of the Bill of Rights, 
but that doesn't create rights, if my rights don't come from the government, they don't come from the Constitution, then the argument that, well, people in the country illegally shouldn't have any rights under the Constitution because they have the same rights that I do or you do from God as a natural right. So and that's why when I look at, 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 this, at this case, it doesn't mean I favor illegal immigration to say that I get where this judge is coming from, to say that a mere misdemeanor level crime, which you haven't even yet been convicted of, but that you clearly committed by coming into the country illegally, should not strip you of a natural right. I get that. That doesn't mean I favor illegal immigration. It doesn't mean I'm weak on immigration. It doesn't mean I want more illegal aliens streaming into this country. And it is no way inconsistent to say we ought to have strict enforcement of our immigration laws. We ought to build the damn wall. We ought to keep people from coming into this country illegally. That's a separate discussion than natural rights, including the natural right to defend oneself, which flows naturally into the right to bear arms. That's where it came from. So that's an explanation of where I come from on this. But, man, ticked a lot of people off. A lot of people wanted to lecture me on how an illegal illegal alien doesn't have any rights under our Constitution because they're not a citizen. I found that very interesting. Let's go to the phone lines. And Brent has called in, but on hold for a while. Brent, welcome to the Gun Guy Show. Yes, uh, Guy. If, if it's a misdemeanor to, to come into the United States... If we were to pump that up and make it a capital crime, could we put a fifty caliber in everyone that does? Uh, so capital crime meaning that it get the death penalty for coming into the country illegally is what you're saying? Just let the average citizen help you in it, you know. <laughs> okay, Well, yeah, um, you know, and there's going to be a lot of discussion about whether even nonviolent felonies um uh should deprive you that is a conviction for a nonviolent felony should deprive you of constitutional rights and and I'll talk more about that here we're at the bottom of the hour we're taking a break I'll tell you what Ryan has called in also been on hold for a while Ryan please uh hold on we're going to come to you first after this uh break but right now we're a little past the bottom of the hour it's time to take a break we'll go back to the phone lines give us a call join this discussion about natural rights about immigration and about this decision from one judge in Illinois, that said a person who's not a U.S. citizen, not a permanent resident, should not be convicted of, 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 of a crime merely for carrying a firearm uh, in, uh, under that federal law that says you have to be a citizen or a permanent resident to possess a firearm in Indiana. Excuse me, in, in the U.S., not in Indiana, in the United States. Interesting discussion. Uh, give us a call. Join the discussion, 317-239-9393. That's 317-239-9393. This is Guy Relford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. Hammer and Nigel. Biden constantly lies. He was doing a victory lap on prices. He said costs were down. Just because it's not at the record level that you were responsible for previously... You don't get to do a victory lap. It's still substantially higher than when your predecessor yeah. was in office. Yeah, and they're not coming back now. Hammer and Nigel, weekdays 3 till 7 on 93 WIPC and WIPC.com. I'm what you might call very good at hide and seek. This one time, my parents had to round up the whole neighborhood to track me down. It was a mess. A lot of tears. Well, now that we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house including all my favorite super secret hiding spots. So I can kill time in here by streaming my shows and- Ha, found ya. The heck? How? You left to find my tablet on. This generation, ruining the game with their performance enhancers. Get wall to Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through March 26th, get gig speed internet for $35 a month for 12 months with a two-year contract when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Wi-Fi equipment included for two years. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Gig speed Wi-Fi requires gig internet and Xfinity gateway. After 12 months, internet increases to $60. After 24 months, regular rates apply. Xfinity mobile requires Xfinity internet. Actual speeds vary. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. California tries to tackle the state's retail theft problem. The LAPD says that shoplifting rates have dramatically increased since 2022. What looks like a shopping center near downtown L.A. is actually a hidden storefront for a retail crime ring, according to deputies. Dozens of L.A. County Sheriff's deputies swarmed the area late at night, detaining several people, including a man they believe is helping run the operation. Once inside, investigators removed more than $300,000 worth of stolen goods, from toiletries and makeup to clothing, even chocolate. Items they believe were likely swiped off shelves during smashing grabs and other thefts. They say it's likely being sold in bulk to others for a fraction of its value. Fox's Christina Coleman in Los Angeles. The Biden campaign touting a major anniversary. Fox's Ryan Schmelz has details for more. Premier Deck Coating, the ultimate deck protection. Who are they? Well, they're a sister company of Rhino Shield, and Premier Deck Coating is the product you need if you're tired of applying the same old stain and paint every couple of years to your deck. It's Terry Stacy, and David and I have a deck that's probably 25 years old. The countless hours and the money that we spend on maintaining that deck never ends. And then we heard about Premier Deck Coating family owned based right here in Indy and they are going to completely transform our deck with their special formulated product which repels moisture scratch resistant in virtually any color that we want and backed by a 10 year guarantee no more spending time staining or painting every year premier deck coating will keep our deck looking great for years to come premier deck coating can also do fences and pergolas too for a free quote call 317-696 4071 or visit premierdeckcoating.com. Calling all coffee lovers. Get ready for the grand opening of the Life Church Coffee House in Noblesville this April. Join us for a warm and welcoming atmosphere, delicious coffee and pastries, and a chance to connect with friends and community. Hey, this is Pastor Micah Beckwith. Whether you're looking for a place to relax, study, or meet up with others, the Life Church Coffee House will be the perfect spot. We'll be serving up your favorite coffee drinks along with a variety of pastries and snacks. So mark your calendars for the grand opening of the Life Church Coffee House in Noblesville this April. We can't wait to see you there. Go to lifechurchin.com for more information. Your home is your sanctuary. Get the peace of mind you deserve with a free estimate on a Generac automatic standby generator for your home from Generator Supercenter, the nation's number one Generac generator dealer with expert installation and 24-hour monitoring. Generator Supercenter won't leave you in the dark. Financing is available. Take control of your power today with Generator Supercenter. Call 317-827-0808. Generator Supercenter of Indianapolis, 317-827-0808. Now, you've got a gun guy. Guy Relford on 93 WIPC. And welcome back. I'm Guy Relford on the Gun Guy Show on 93 WIPC. I tell you, we got a bunch of callers. Let's go right to the phone line. I'll tell you, Ryan's been on hold for quite a while. Ryan, man, thanks so much for your patience, and uh, thanks for calling into the Gun Guy Show. Oh, no problem, Guy. Hey, I just wanted to tell you that I did not think about it the way that you explained it the other day on Hammer and Nigel. And the way you explain it today about our rights, and you know what, you are right. You're very, <laughs> you're 100 percent correct. Uh, I, I haven't heard, I haven't heard, mu I haven't heard much of that, Ryan. Away. I mean, so people keep lecturing me on uh, how I must be nuts that I want a bunch of illegal aliens to be running around with guns, and that's not exactly what I you said. Um, but yeah. I, I, I'm glad you understand where I'm actually coming from. It can't be denied if, if everybody just thinks about it, guy. 
you are 100 percent correct <laughs> thank you for i mean thank you very much guy for for opening my mind like that because you're right you're right you're correct well that's interesting i and ryan i i i appreciate that more than you know uh, Annie has called in. Annie, uh, I, I think this isn't your first time calling the Gun Guy Show, if I recall correctly, Annie. Uh, and I may be no, wrong I, on that, but welcome I to the Gun Guy Show. Before. What's I've that? Called before. It's just, it's been a while. Uh, yeah. I want to tell you what Ryan told you. You really set my thinking right as to God given rights to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, yeah. and the right to self defense. But I wanted to ask you about something about crossing the border. Sure. I had read that it is only a misdemeanor when you cross the first time. Obviously, it's to come in and get all the benefits. Yeah, sure. When you cross the second time, they're not going to leave to go out. But when you come and go after the first offense, it's only a misdemeanor. Thereafter, it becomes a felony. Ah. Is that correct? You know, I don't know, Annie. I mean, I'm the gun guy, not the immigration guy. Um, but no. <laughs> but, that, but, that, but it's a fair question. And and you know what? I Now that you mention it, I hadn't thought about that before, Annie. And thanks again for calling the show. We love it when you do. Um, I, I, that's an interesting question that I do not know the answer to, but it, it doesn't surprise me. It sounds right to me. And, uh, and now, again, interesting question. And if I have time, I'll go into this as well. There's a lot of discussion right now whether nonviolent felonies should prevent you from having Second Amendment rights, should prohibit you from possessing a firearm. And, in fact, Amy Coney Barrett, when she was on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, we're in the Seventh Circuit right here in Indiana – um, the Seventh Circuit is based in Chicago, and she was on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, which is immediately before she went to the Supreme Court. She wrote a dissenting opinion. That means she she was in the minority. She got outvoted two to one in a three-judge panel. But she wrote a dissenting opinion that said that a nonviolent felon, this person was convicted, I think, of mail fraud, but that's a felony. And under federal law, if you have any felony, you can't possess a firearm. And she wrote an opinion that said that was unconstitutional because the history, the text, the text, history, and tradition of the Second Amendment leads us to, to, to conclude that, yes, there's a history and a tradition of taking gun rights away from violent criminals. But that's violent criminals, and it doesn't apply to a nonviolent crime like mail fraud. And to say that any felon is if you've just done something like mail fraud, which is not violent in any way that you shouldn't lose your Second Amendment rights. And there are some lower courts that are starting to say this. And the lady who wrote that opinion, who I think is a brilliant, brilliant judge, is on the Supreme Court now. That becomes very interesting very fast. Let's go back to the phone line. And Matt has called in. Matt, welcome to the Gun Guy Show. Hey, Guy. Thanks for taking my call. Sure, man. Hey, you helped me out with that expungement in the last oh, year. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I just wanted to give you a shout-out on that and a, a plug on your expungement. I heard you bring that up. And yeah. Just, it, 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 uh, it's something I didn't think I would ever be able to do, and, you know, I started listening to you years back, and then I heard you bring it up and uh, never shop for another attorney. I just saved the money, <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, I, you told me what was going to happen. I waited, and— uh, you got it done. I went over to Indy Arms. I waited 30 days, and I got. Uh, I went through the process. I, I did have to wait for uh, a week. Oh, they delayed you? They delayed me a week, which was fine. I figured that would happen, and then uh, yeah. they approved me, and I, 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 you know, I went over, and I, I was able to buy a firearm, and I, I just uh, I can't even explain what it meant to me, and I, I just wanted to give a shout-out. Oh man, oh, hey, man, I appreciate that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that check for fifty bucks in in the mail to you here right away. <laughs> but, I, but but no, I really appreciate that. And you know what? I have a lot of people tell me after an expungement is they say, uh, and this is kind of an extreme comment, and but they'll say, man, you know, I I, I feel like a, a complete person again. You know, I I had one of my basic rights stripped of me from having whatever it is on my record, and uh, and getting that expunged to get my rights back kind of makes me a whole person again. And and I get that, because I've done it for so many people over so many years that uh, I get that. And I'm, I'm glad we were able to get that done for you, Matt. That means a lot to me that you would call in and say that. So thanks for calling the Gun Guy Show. 
Sure, man. Absolutely. And thanks for all you do. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, we're at the three-quarter hour. We've got other people that have called in, so we'll go right back to the phone lines after we take this break. So um, please uh, have some patience, and we'll get right back to the phone lines. And you want to join the discussion? We'll have time for, uh, I think, a few callers after we come back. This is Guy Relford on The Gun Guy Show. Call us. Give us a call, 317-239-9393. That's 317-239-9393. Guy Relford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. Hammer and Nigel. Joe Biden speaks gibberish. Joe Biden has a hard time walking. He can't find his way off of a stage. Don't give me this crap that Joe Biden's cognitively all there and way superior to Donald Trump in that category. This stapler that we've got in the studio (laughs) is completely more qualified to be running this country right now than Joe Biden. Hammer and Nigel, weekdays 3 till 7 on 93 WIPC and WIPC.com. Guy Relford for the law offices of Guy Relford. Uh, as Matt just mentioned, and, and I didn't know Matt was going to call, but I'm really glad he did. Uh, one of the things we do at the law office is we do expungements, which were, we can seal a conviction off your record. Some higher level uh, convictions, once they're expunged, remain a public record, but importantly, your rights are restored. And that's a big, big uh, benefit to a lot of people because they can get their Second Amendment rights back. Uh, they can hold public office again. And, and and get their whole, uh, really, variety of civil rights restored after, for instance, a felony conviction. Now, a lot of, of convictions cannot be expunged, but an awful lot of them can. And, uh, and that's an important step for a lot of people. You have to have eight years with a clean criminal history. You have to have paid all your fines, fees, and court costs. There can't be any active criminal investigations against you. Um, but if you're eligible... Uh, then for an awful lot of, of convictions, we can get those expunged and restore your rights. It's something I really enjoy doing. I love working for clients like Matt, and uh, it means a lot to them. It means a lot to me. So if that applies to you or folks you know, let uh, let us help you out at the law office of Guy Relford. You can contact us through the website, relfordlaw.com. That's relfordlaw.com. One in six seniors faces the threat of hunger, and millions more live in isolation. Drop off a hot meal and say a quick hello. Volunteer for Meals on Wheels by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council. Your new car, your new truck, your new electric vehicle is at Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield because they've got the deal that can't be beat. All of the new cars and trucks you're looking for and electric vehicles like the all-electric F-150 Lightning with seating up to five, intelligent backup power, and on-site power for all your tools and gear. This all-electric truck is built for it all. Andy Moore Ford also has the rebates for you. Federal and state incentives. You could save more on your EV purchase up to $7,500 instantly on site and save more on all of their cars and trucks their fleet vehicles and their electric vehicles andy moore ford in plainfield including more to your door you can just buy the car online and they will deliver it directly to you andy moore ford visit them on main street in plainfield or online at andymoreford.com that's andy moore m-o-h-r andymoreford.com Tony Katz here, and if you know me, you know I like my bourbon, and just like you, I like a good deal. So let me tell you about Hotel Tango Bourbon. Hotel Tango is a distillery right here in Indianapolis, started by Travis Barnes, a Marine who served three tours in Iraq. He wanted to craft spirits with the same discipline he learned in the Marine Corps. That's what Hotel Tango does. I've tried his bourbon. It's wonderful. It's a four-grain bourbon with a distinct mash bill. You get a little caramel and some of that aroma. You get a nice rye kick to balance it out. I'm not the only one who thinks it's good. Wine enthusiast gave it a 90 and it won a gold at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. It's also under 40 bucks. Did I mention that? One of the 10 best bourbons under $40, according to wine enthusiasts. Try it for yourself. Head down to wherever you buy fine spirits and try Hotel Tango for yourself. You'll be supporting local, supporting veterans, and getting yourself a great, sippable, enjoyable bourbon at a great price. Thanks to Hotel Tango for sponsoring the show. Hotel Tango, distilled with discipline. Hoteltangodistillery.com. Dance happen. There's a whole lot of stuff that can mess up the look of your vehicle. Don't paint your car. Go PDR with Kill-A-Dent Removal. PDR is painless dent removal that saves your factory finish and is way less invasive than traditional body shop repairs. And it's faster, too, sometimes same day. Google Kill-A-Dent Removal and check out the reviews and photos. Then schedule your repair. Hail baseballs, kids, fender benders, shopping carts, flying cows, angry exes, and anything else that leaves dents. Don't paint your car. Go PDR with Kill-A-Dent Removal. 
when you wake up well-rested on a great mattress, everything becomes clear. Huh, I do make everything about me. Things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves. My passport is in the pocket of the duffel bag I took to Mexico. At Mattress Firm, we know the right mattress matters. We also know that price does too. So if you see a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Plus, you get free and fast delivery. Shop in-store or online at mattressfirm.com. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. You let him try violin because you love him. And if you love him that much, love him enough to make sure he's buckled up and in the back seat. Find out more at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Second to none on the Second Amendment. This is the Gun Guy with Guy Ralford on 93 WIPC. And welcome back for the last segment of the Gun Guy show here on 93 WIBC. I got to tell you, a shout out. Um, I posted on social media on Facebook. I'll put it on Twitter here too when I have time. I'll just cut and paste or copy and paste. Uh, but I put a, uh, a Facebook post out both on my Facebook, which is Guy A. Ralford, and also uh, Gun Guy WIBC. And hey, that's unlimited. I think I'm maxed out on friends on uh, on on my my personal Facebook, but I've got Gun Guy WIBC as a Facebook page, and and, and I I copy things um, on or I post things on both uh, simultaneously most often, as I just did talking about my guest uh, Shiloh uh, Plu, uh, who was on earlier, and and I'll tell you what the responses are just fabulous, and the comments could not be any better, uh, where we had this 12 year old national champion come on the show and talk about her experience. And this is long range precision shooting. And one thing that Shiloh got into, and listen, she's obviously a hell of a lot better at it than I am. I've only done a little bit. And I was, I had a, 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 a professional spotter a guy who builds rifles, built my rifle, Joe Bell, of Bell precision rifles. He was calling out windage. I didn't have to do the math. And uh, for this young lady to do that all in her head, she didn't use uh, these 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 apps that are out there and ballistic calculators um, that, that that will do some of that for you. She, she as she said, she's really really good at math and likes to do it all in her head as she's shooting. That's unbelievable. Um, and uh, and the fact that she's that good at this age is just fabulous. But I anyway, I posted this on social media on Facebook. Um, you can check that out at Gun Guy WIBC. Give me a follow while you're on there, or I'm going to post it on Twitter here in a minute. Uh, it's just guy at Guy Relford on Twitter. Give me a follow while you're on there. I'm trying to build my Twitter following a little bit. But but the response uh, to Shiloh just could not be any better and more positive and kind of restores your faith in humanity when people are saying such nice things about a wonderful young lady. Uh, that's all pretty cool. Restores your faith in future generations as well for someone like her to uh, to have that kind of success and, and come on and be as well-spoken and, and composed as she was at 12 years old. Phew, pretty unbelievable. Doesn't surprise me. She's won a national championships in precision right in precision rifle so uh, composure is clearly not a problem for that young lady but just so neat and I'm, I'm knocked out thank you for all the positive comments and reactions on social media it's very nice in the meantime um, a lot of folks are talking about uh, what I had to say about natural rights and about this ruling and I believe that's what Cody wants to talk about who's called in Cody uh, thanks for your patience as well and thanks for calling the gun guy show no problem thank you so much um, sure Honestly, I, I I just want to preface this by saying I'm extremely liberal. I'm an atheist. I definitely don't believe in God, and I often butt heads with people who necessarily have the kind of opinion you have, but I I can't tell you how much I appreciate you sort of walking the walk and talking the talk, you know, because yeah. if you truly believe that these are – God's rights and, and unalienable, then that shouldn't apply just to whoever, you know, is a citizen. It's whoever is in our country, you know, yeah. and it's it's about our land. And I, I just want you to st I just praise in general. I listen to your show all the time, and I love your just no-nonsense sort of attitude, and, and you get straight to the point, you know, and I can't tell you how – much better I feel like the country would be like if more conservatives shared your sort of mindset. <laughs> okay, Cody, I appreciate that a lot. And thanks for calling the gun guy show. And you know what? I mean, to me, part of respect and, and part of, uh, 
uh, being a good citizen of this country and a good citizen of the world uh, is to have respect for each other's views. And and listen, I you know I grew up in the church and and I have strong religious convictions, um, but I also respect anyone who believes differently than me. I think we all have the right to make those decisions. Um, and 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 in my view, God gave us the right of free will. Um, and that includes the right to to have whatever belief and make the decisions that you want. And and I don't want to deprive anybody of that. And uh, yeah, and and that's why I respect uh, you, you calling and and even saying what you said, even though we obviously disagree on a on a fundamental issue in life. Uh, but we can still have a civil conversation. That's a big deal. And uh, and more people ought to be able to have that conversation. I'll tell you, we're coming in on uh, on the end of the show. Um, really enjoyed it. This is a special show to me. I really appreciate uh, young Shiloh Plue coming in. I really appreciate all our callers. Uh, right now, we're wrapping up this edition of The Gun Guy Show. Hope you come back next week. It's Sky Relford on The Gun Guy Show on 93 WIBC. This is the most exciting time of the year, and we want you to go all the way, even if your team doesn't. March on, Indiana, in a Hubler quality pre owned vehicle. Shop any of Hubler's 12 locations and choose from over 1,000 vehicles. Chevys, Fords, GMCs, Buicks, Nissans, Acuras, Mazdas, Hondas, and many more. All makes, all models, certified vehicles, luxury vehicles, even the hard-to-find ones. Every Hubler Q certified vehicle is covered by a 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, plus a 128-point vehicle inspection and a free Carfax history report. Hubler's got you covered for 100,000 miles. Busted brackets not included. So what drives Indiana? DriveHubler.com. For over 1,000 vehicles, visit any of our 12 locations. Hubler's got you covered. Warranty on select models less than nine years old. Mortgage rates have lowered going into the spring selling season. Now is the time to act to maximize your equity. Mark Deedle has the plan and experience to sell your home fast and for maximum value this spring. Maybe you want maximum equity.